Hi everyone, today is Sunday the 7th of February 2021 and the first card today is the King of Wands. And you don't get to be a king unless you've had lots of experience in life and lots of knowledge in the particular area or field of your expertise, but also across the board. You're a great leader, here's two lions. So you like Leo the, the lion. So some of these people could even be a Leo in the star sign that you know, and they could be very well equipped with knowledge and a great person to go to to get advice. Also what we have in these ones when they're really high up and have lots of knowledge, the king has a salamander. See the salamander with his tail in his mouth there and he's got them all over his coat. That is virtually saying that he's done the rounds with the knowledge. He's completely rounded, well-rounded in all areas, um, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically. He's able to know what his body needs. He can give you the right advice. He can be strong and, and delegate like a leader, but he's here looking at his wonderful talent, his wonderful skill on this very sturdy stone platform. He's somebody that's as uh, solid as a rock. So that might be you today as we're getting closer and closer to knowing our truth, following our truth, doing what we feel we need to do rather than what everybody else wants us to do. The centre card is the pentacle, uh, Knight of Pentacles, look at this one here. Upright, he's in a procrastinating position of like literally still. Beautiful paddock there with fertile soil ready to sow a seed of thought or a project, but too busy just staying still because that's safer. No, it's not, it's not safer. It's wasting time in my books. If you were to be like this card is, it's coming out in reverse. To me, this is, you are very ready to move forward. You are not wanting to stay still any longer. That fertile soil is still there. You just need to work out a plan on how to get your life to be better for you, not for everybody else. Again, a little bit of a reiteration of the King of Wands. The next card is also Pentacles. And remember, Pentacles is all about uh, life, the way you lead it your ups and downs like that way that we have in life. And this is the poverty card up this way. And so it's the four of pentacles. So he's hanging on to his money under his feet. He's got hold of it really hard there with his arms, really no one's getting my dosh. And then he's even hidden it in his uh, crown there. So in reverse, this says to me that you know that you can earn money at the drop of a hat. You could go out if you needed to and pick fruit. You could get some contract work if you needed to, but you want to literally start doing what you love, <clears throat> what brings joy to you, and that's where that King of Wands comes into it as the first card. Deep inside, have the faith that you are full of knowledge, know-how, respect yourself, honor yourself, grab hold of what you would love to do in life and move forward. We have the king, which is the one, the knight, which is another one, and of course the four of pentacles. So four, five, six, and six, if you think of the number, it's like birthing something, coming around and there's your belly about to birth something really important, and you may have the aha moment drop in today, or more so the courage to move forward because you have now got some more inner strength, that you breached in with that lion yesterday, and it's time to not procrastinate. That's the procrastination way. That's no, let's move forward. And I'm not gonna worry about the poverty and being a penny pincher because I know and have faith in myself that I can bring in the money, the happiness, and the balance in my life, which is the pentacles and have a life in the background and not be so worried about money all the time. It's not the all, be all and end all, it's relationships and how you enjoy your life. That's the most important thing. Have a lovely Sunday everyone and see you later, bye.